welcome back to my channel. Today is Tuesday. Feels like it's like, God, it should be like Friday or something, but it's not. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing a super cute sports bra that I am makeshifting into a tubeless bikini because I was actually trying to lay outside because I don't get any sun whatsoever. Like, and I know people are going to say, like, blah, blah, the sun's bad for you. But, like, really, like, I don't get to go outside ever, which sucks because I'm a big vitamin D lover. Vitamin D lover. So I was just sitting outside, and I was just getting a little bit any sun I could get before I go to my second job of the day. Um, and I actually started reading Bare Bones, and I'm in love with it. So let me know if you guys have read this book. I'm only reading it because I'm obsessed with him, and I want to read his new one, which is Fail Until You Don't. Um, I'm really into reading in the summer. I don't get to do it a lot, so I thought that I would start this book. So that's a fun fact. Uh, right now, it is approximately almost 4 o'clock. Uh, worked out earlier, killed shoulders with Sam. So now I'm going to shower, um, get ready to go to work. I also wanted to show you guys my new tattoo for those of you who may not have seen it on um, Instagram and stuff. So that is right there. I'll stand back so you guys can actually see it. Um, oh, these are also the leggings that I've talked a crap load about on Forever 21. Excuse the background. We're working on this room. This is actually my desk. Um, these are the leggings from Forever 21 that I have been obsessing over. So, but anyways, here's the tattoo. I absolutely love it. Um, it took him about two and a half hours to do. Super detailed. I'm not done. I'm actually going to pull... Um, more like this that's going to mesh in with this into my entire bicep so this will all be covered. Uh, I wanted to go for the half sleeve theme and then I will be done with this arm. I say that but then you know you never you never know like you always like to add so. Anyways guys I'm super excited that you are here. Welcome to the video. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed if you are not already and let's get into the video. Alright guys, so we are here to talk about hair products. So I am going to get started with shampoo and conditioner. So the shampoo and conditioner that I have been using for a, I want to say almost eight months now, is no longer than that because I've been doing the blonde for a while, like the whitish blonde. It's not really whitish blonde right now, but I've been doing this style for a while. So what I use is the Joyco Color Balance Purple uh, shampoo and it's for eliminates brassy yellow tones or blonde for blonde gray hair. I've been using this for a while. I really, 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 really like it. Uh, really, really good for just if you have the blonde tones and you want to get rid of the brassiness. I feel like it brightens my hair. I really, really enjoy it. It lathers up really good all around good shampoo. And then I also use the Joyco by them as well, the brightening conditioner, just for that brightening look for when you get out of the shower. I just really, really have enjoyed this for eliminating hydration and softness, and it does make your hair really, really soft. So these are what I use for shampoo and conditioner. Uh, I probably should have started out by telling you guys a little bit about my hair. Um, I have been dyeing my hair, dyeing, like just coloring, cutting, doing everything in my hair probably since I was like 12. And people are like, yeah, that's probably why your hair is so thin. No, I honestly like grew up with pretty thin hair. I've never had the long, luscious, luminous, thick hair. I was kind of just born like thin hair. So I really tried to keep my hair healthy. There's been times when my hair was a lot less healthier than it is, but right now I think it's the healthiest it's ever been, mainly because I chopped it all off. Obviously, if you've followed me for a while, my hair used to be like brown here. So I chopped it all off and it's still thin, but my ends are really nice, and I've just been taking really good care of it. I don't use a ton of heat on it. Like I said, I probably use my curling iron maybe two, probably two times a week, because I really only curl my hair if I'm doing something, which lately it's been in the summer, which is like two times a week. During the school year, I don't really curl it a lot, like at all. Um, for care for my hair, I shower shower every day body wise but um hair care wise i probably wash my hair maybe twice a week sometimes most of the time it's probably once i wear my hair up a lot and i've been trying not to lately just because i want my hair to breathe and just i'm working on getting it healthier like not coloring it as much i have been my goal was to not color it all summer and i'm still holding strong i colored it at the beginning but i'm trying to keep not coloring it just to give it a break it's just been I've been going back and forth, like it's been brown in the last two years, it's just been kind of effed with, effed with. 
So I try to wash my hair one to two times a week. It depends on what I'm doing, but um, for what I use on my hair, I wear these, and my hairstylist, Monica McGowan, she got me hooked on these when I came to her um, last, last year, last April, she was saying how my hair was broken on the mid, like in the middle of the hair. And she's like, you know, you wear your hair up all the time because I'm in nursing school. And she's like, you know, you need to get on these and the new thing. So basically I've been using them since and they prevent breakage on your hair on the middle. Uh, as for what I use for products, I'm going to show you guys what I use if they work for me, they may work for you, they may not. They're just my favorite things and what I use as a blonde and how I keep my hair healthy and strong and working well with the curls, working well with the straightness. I still like to wear my hair straight. I hardly ever straighten my hair though. Uh, so yeah, those were the shampoo and conditioners that I use. The only other thing that I use in the shower, I'm really boring, is this Paul Mitchell Supercharged Moisturizer Mask. And it basically I do this like once a week maybe and i know i said i wash my hair once a week so i'd probably say i do this like every two weeks when i'm feeling up for hanging out in the shower for a long time basically it's just to moisturize your hair it's good for your hair it's not probably um i don't know if it's one of the best or not i just had a deal at ulta and i've used it for a while and my mom really likes paul mitchell so i tried it out um when my hair is wet i have been using this since december my Brother's girlfriend is a hairstylist. Shout out to you, Caitlin, in North Dakota. If you are in North Dakota, I will link her information here. She's awesome, and I really, really love her. Um, she got me this stuff, and it is called Nourish. It's a really, really light serum, and she gave it to me because she's like, you know, this is the lightest serum that I've ever felt putting on somebody's hair when it's wet. And I have thin hair, so I don't like having heavy stuff go on my hair when it's wet. If you're a thin-haired girl, you understand what I'm saying. Like, I don't like that. It can make it feel greasy and just not, not cute. So I've been using this, and I absolutely love it. I really do recommend it if you're looking for just a serum that is just smoothing to the hair, helps prevent damage, and it's just so your hair doesn't feel, like, just, like, wet, if that makes sense. If I do blow dry my hair, which is really freaking rare, there's got to be something going on. I use the Kenra Blow Dry Spray, and I've been using this for years. It's really, really great. It helps your hair dry way fast. It's protecting it from the heat. Really important to protect your hair from the heat, and I'll get into what else I use, but I just put it on damp hair and use it as a blow dry protector. One of my favorite products for like beachy-ish kind of the scrunched look, which I always hated in high school. I don't like my hair to feel. I absolutely... Without a doubt, no offense to anybody, cannot stand the scrunched hair look on my head. Like, I, my hair is so thin that it just looks gross. And some people can pull it off, but I just have never been a huge fan of it. So this was my um, holy grail for, like, the last three years of college. It is the Sexy Hair Soy Renewal Beach Spray. It's honestly the only beach spray that I've ever found that I was, like obsessed with like I would put it on my hair when it's wet and that's when I use it and it basically just like I would like scrunch it up into my head oh 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 girl your hair looks like you either just were in the bedroom sorry about that or you were just on a beach and you literally like rolled in the sand or something like I don't know and it's not it doesn't make your hair crunchy it's like a soft like look and I love it I just haven't used it a ton this summer because once you use this you're gonna have to wash your hair after it because you or put it up because you can't you can't curl your hair after it's really hard because there's like the product in it I don't know it's hard to explain but if you're into keeping your hair down and looking like you just got off the beach or whatever else you were doing highly recommend this okay moving on to the moving on to the products that I use pretty much every single day is the number one holy grail what's up girl like couldn't live life without it is my dry shampoo like I this is my homie so I was introduced to this by a youtuber I want to say it was Brittany Dawn but I'm not sure I've seen this multiple places but she was like the kicker for me because at the time my hair was super white blonde and I was like I need something that's not gonna like leave a gross like residue on the top of my head because a lot of dry shampoos do that so I looked into this and I love it this is the Moroccan oil dry shampoo for light tones it's kind of pricey I'm not gonna lie to you but it is the best dry shampoo I've ever had in my life it smells absolutely phenomenal if you use Moroccan oil like the oil stuff oh, this lighting, I'm so sorry well it's the same smell as that it's absolutely amazing like I was saying if you use the Moroccan oil oil it's very similar to that scent I think it's like actually the exact scent and it is amazing so that is my number one it's really light on the hair it smells phenomenal it's a powder powder formula is what my brother's girlfriend tried to explain to me and it's just 
mm, so good. The second product from them that I use and you're going to see in this video today and that as well is the Perfect Defense, which all this is is a heat protectant. It's for all hair types, um, up to 450 degrees, 230 Celsius. Absolutely love it. I put it on my hair before I curl, straighten, basically anything besides blow dry because I use the thermal one. And then this is their dry texture spray. Another holy grail. I am obsessed with texture sprays. I got into them in this past year and they have been the best thing ever. So the texture sprays basically give your hair like a soft, it says soft gritty feel and it's totally true. I absolutely love this one. I put it at the top of my roots and I'll show you guys in this video, but pull it through to like about right here. Super, super nice for giving your hair a texture without giving it like a crunchy, gross feel. And this is basically all I use to set my hair for hairspray, which you'll see in this video. The next brand is from Target, so kind of more affordable. Uh, it's the Kristen S. This one is the Dry Finish Working Spray. I got this in December, and I've loved it. Very, very similar to this one, so if you're looking for a cheaper option, I highly recommend this one. This one is basically, so you put it at your roots, and it's kind of more of a hairspray, but it's not like for, it doesn't like make your hair stiff or anything. And so that's just another option. I can't even think of what I'm talking about. Okay, the next thing is the Kristen S. Working Texture Loose Styling Powder. I never used to freaking like loose styling powders, but I fell in love with this one when I started trying it. You put just a teeny little bit on your fingers and you go up here. You can go underneath and go, I technically like to go under here and go like that because it just kind of like lifts the hair up. As you can see, I didn't have any on my fingers, but my hair is kind of gritty from that texture spray. And it just kind of lifts the hair up, so that's what I use this for. Gives your hair some grit, makes your hair like want to stay with the curls longer. I absolutely love this stuff. Yeah, and you can get both of these at Target. The Moroccan oil stuff you can get at Sephora. I know that for a fact. It's not at all done because I try and get it there and it's not there. All right, guys. The curling wand that I'm actually using today is the it is the brand Lange. And I'm going to link down below where I got it because I can't think of it off the top of my head. But this is a one and a half inch barrel. And I'll just show you guys compared to this one and a half inch barrel the difference of how much bigger this is for waves. So I got this back in December. I bought it for myself as a Christmas present. And I love it. It has the swivel cord. Um, it's the aluminum one. Aluminum. Titanium is what I wanted to say. Titanium, and it does really good. It heats up really, really fast. It's just the on and off switch here. So that's what I'm using today. Again, I'll link down below where I got it. Not too expensive. I think it was like $45. And then the second one I'm going to show you guys is my ride or die that I've had since I was in probably sixth grade. It is the brand Enzo Milano. And if I could ever collab with them and like do their irons, like just do mad reviews for you guys, I would. They're phenomenal. This, this literally has lasted me. I've had this since sixth grade. So what am I? I'm a senior in college, so like eight years, right? Yeah, that's like eight nine ten years i've had this forever this is also a swivel cord this is um i can't think of what i would call this what's the word i'll think of it and post it here but this iron is ride or die has lasted me forever on off switch just a long cord again you can swivel this one comes with a glove and this one did as well but i am been curling my hair for years i don't i don't use the um the gloves, but they're both amazing. That one is cheaper than this one and works great. But back in the day, if you're looking for an iron that's going to last you forever and ever and ever and ever, Enzo Milano, highly recommend. Amazing, amazing brand. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first product that I'm actually going to use that I didn't have out, um, I'm going to use the dry shampoo. So all I'm going to do is I just go through my roots here and I kind of just hit the roots, basically. So I'll go like right here. Um, my part actually goes from here over, so I kind of like focus on making sure that I get that area so that people aren't looking at my dirty hair because it can tend to look dirty. So the thing that I love about this spray is that it smells so amazing and it's really, really easy to work with on the hair. Um, like I said, it's a powder and it just seamlessly goes into my hair perfectly. And this is the light tones, and you can, there is another one, that I believe it's darker tones, or maybe it's just regular, but all I'm doing with my hands, with my hair like this, is just going under, or going on top, and kind of playing with the roots. And my hair kind of already has a wave to it right now, but we're obviously going to add to it. So after I do the dry shampoo, I am actually going to take the Perfect Defense and I'm just going to take my hair, and this probably is, there's probably a better way to do this, but I really just kind of do it 
all at once. So I really am focused on the ends, so I'm just gonna kind of spray those, and I just kind of like pat it, just to kind of get it into the ends, and then I will just kind of go everywhere and just kind of scrunch it into my hair. Because, I mean, you're not gonna be able to protect every single strand of hair, and I just want the basis of my ends to be protected because that's where I get the most damage personally. So, that is that. So those are the first two things I do, and now I am going to split off my hair here, and I just want to get it to the bottom layer. So I have kind of, I don't know if you guys can see that super well, but that's all I'm parting off here. And I'm gonna put all of this up in just a little clippy. And so we have this bottom layer. That's just, this is what we're working with. Sorry I'm like messing with my nose ring. So this is the bottom layer that we're gonna work with. I'm going to start by not, I don't wanna say that I take huge sections because I don't, but I don't take specific sections. I don't brush my hair before I do it. That's honest to God the truth, unless my hair is clean, which my hair is pretty clean right now. Um, so I just kind of take the two sections here like this. So it looks like it's two big sections. I just split it in the back. That's all I just did. So I have two sections to work with. I start from the front and I'm going to take a section yay big. So basically out of these two sets, and I have thin hair, please note that. That's not something, I feel like it's come from colored hair, but I really have had thin hair my whole life. So like people give me shit and they're like, you're blonde, just making your hair thin. Yes, but it's always been thin. So out of this section that was split in half, I'm probably gonna get three pieces out of it. So like that, if that gives you any idea. So here's the process. I take my curling wand, just like this. I'm gonna go behind my head. I'm gonna wrap it around, just like that. I leave the ends out. I don't know if you guys can see that, I leave it out. Leave it in for about five-ish seconds. You see that curl? Here's what you do. Play with it, just like that. Do you see how it instantly became a wave, not a tight curl? That's what we're gonna do to the entire head. So now I have my second section here. I'm going to take the curling wand, do the exact same thing, flip it around. I'm leaving that end out there. Leaving it on for five-ish to eight-ish sections, seconds. If it's a little bit of a bigger section, I kind of keep it on a little bit longer. And I also will like hold it in my hand here just to keep the curl. There it is right there. Take it and yank it. So now we kind of have that wave, which you can always go back and fix them if they don't turn out exactly how you want them to. So I'm gonna go again, just show you guys again as a demonstration. Another tip as I'm doing this, this is kind of a shitty section to show you, but notice how I have the hair and it's completely flat. You don't want to have like you don't want to have it be thick like that and go around the barrel because the heat's not going to get to all of the hair. So keeping it like this, keeping it flat and making sure that you wrap it. I hope you guys can see this. Making sure that you wrap it around like that is going to make sure that the heat gets to all the hair and that there's not like half of it curled half not. Again, leaving the end out cuz I'm going for a wave look. So that's the curl. Again, take the bottom of it and yank it. So that is kind of what we have. It's gonna look way better when it's all put together, but that is basically the process I use. Obviously the rest of this I'll fast forward and show you guys kind of how I do the top section a little bit differently, but that's really all there is to it. It's not super difficult. I feel like the reason that I get such good waves is because I instantly yank it fast. Um, this barrel is bigger than a typical curling iron barrel and I don't put a ton of hairspray in, so it gets loose and it's flowy and the hair is already kind of dirty. Not today for this occasion, but normally it's dirty when I'm waving it, so it has a little bit more time to uh, just give that grungy, wavy bedhead look, and that's what I love to go for. So I'm gonna finish curling my head and I'll show you guys what I do to the top. Just kidding, I don't leave it like this, so I would cry. So, we're done with the curling wand. You guys just saw what it looked like before, so here's what I do after. Um, basically, crazy lady would typically do this, which I'm gonna do it anyway. So, I kind of take my head like this, and I put my hands towards the top of my roots, and I go like this, and then I go towards the back, and I go like that, and then I kind of just play with it. 
So obviously you're gonna wanna like run your fingers through some of the waves because they're not gonna look exactly the way that you want them. Um, some may be tighter than others, so you may have to actually like physically take your fingers and go like that so that they kind of pull out a little bit if that makes sense. But that's basically it guys. This is the wavy look. It all is all about honestly how long you're keeping it on the iron which directions you're going, if you're leaving an end out, if you don't curl, if you do curl the ends, it gives it more of a more put together look and I've always hated that. I like my curls to look like they've been kind of chilling like all day long. So this is the look that I go for most days. Uh, just to show you guys what I'm gonna do for product, I will add two finish, obviously I'm gonna show these here in a minute in the intro, but two finishing sprays. I don't use hairspray when I do this. Like I kind of stopped doing it. These are both kind of called hairspray, but they're really not. Like they're not something that's gonna make your hair feel tight and crunchy. I just don't like it for this look. It doesn't work well for me and then I can't play with my hair. I can't do this or you know, like put it to the side. Like I'm weird. I like to flip my hair around and I like my hair to feel soft, not hard. So, which my mom is the complete opposite. She likes hairspray where it's like, uh, it's not freaking going anywhere, no. So the one that I'm gonna use today is the Moroccan oil one, but I absolutely love this one as well. This one, I'm just going to put at the top of my hair here and just kind of scrunch my curls up into it. And then as well on this side, I just kind of spray it with the hair up so it gets to the roots throughout the whole thicker side here. And I'm just kind of scrunching it up into it, letting that play for a second. And then I will take it to like lift it back and just kind of give your hair a light spritz in the middle. I don't really go to the ends much just because, I don't know, I just don't. It's supposed to, you're only supposed to go from like here up. So, that's kind of what we're looking like currently. And I don't like the frizz either, and it's kind of because I can't really see what I'm doing that well from where I'm filming right now. But I like to make sure that it's soft and fluffy and pretty. So, Use that, and then also, I'm not gonna put this in my hair right now, but another of my favorite products is by the same brand as this texture spray. You can get it at Target. It's the Working Texture Loose Styling Powder, and if I were going out, I would put this at my roots. It just gives it more volume, and it kinda makes your hair just wanna stay a little bit longer. You know what I mean? Like, it's gonna make the curls wanna last longer and be just put together, but not the sticky feeling or anything like that. It's kind of, you, you don't need very much, little goes a long way, but that is what I would do. All right guys, that is the end of this video. I hope that I answered some of your questions. I honestly really, really do because you guys have asked a ton. You've asked for a hair tutorial, you've asked for hair products, and this is basically, basically everything that I use and how I do my hair. Um, yeah, so that's about it. And I wanna show you guys something else kind of funny just because I wanna get out of um, perfection mode here in this video. So. As you can see, we're in the spare bedroom and we are working on making this an actual room. Like I'm actually sitting at the desk that I just redid and we haven't decorated this room yet. I have things that I need to get rid of back here. So, and this is Sam's closet actually, but I'm really, really excited to show you guys the finished product of the house tour because it's coming. It really is. I promise you guys it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. I'm just almost done, but I want to show you guys something. This is what it's like when two nursing students live together and date. Ready for this? Look at all of those freaking books and binders. There's stuff under there, there's stuff right there, and then, and then, and then, wait for it. It's literally stocked, there's binders here all the way to the back, and this is a deep cabinet. And these are books all the way back. And um, there's still more books in this room that I can't show you because I am, there's so many books, but anyways, yes. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Give me some recommendations below for what you want to see for the rest of the series. I absolutely love you guys. I hope you guys feel confident with these products. I hope that they work for you. And don't forget to smile today and pat yourself on the back for something you are thankful for slash productivity-wise you've done this week. I will catch you guys in the next video. Starving. Want to go eat. Bye.